It's Bourbon Nights Live. How is everyone doing? Happy Sunday. Happy Father's Day. Happy Father's Day, everybody. Happy Father's Day, yeah. We had a nice lunch earlier. Brunch, whatever, to celebrate. Yeah. yeah. It was great. It was lovely. It was lovely. Well, I mean, that's what we thought. It wasn't really for us, so. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but we had a good time. Sure. Yeah. So, yeah, welcome in on this Sunday. We're going to do, uh, do a little blending here. Tonight. Yeah, we've had this kit for a bit and meant to do it on World Whiskey Day and then just got distracted, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Mm -hmm. Something shiny must have popped up in our vision. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, so we're ex I'm excited to do it now. Mm -hmm. So basically what it is, it's a blending kit that Balcones, um, if you're not familiar with them, they're a distillery in Texas. And they're kind of one of the... One of the old school ones, as far as like Texas whiskey, Texas bourbon getting established. Uh, they've been, been around for a minute, becoming more and more uh, established, as you can see here. Uh, top it's 20. Something shiny. <laughs> whiskey advocate. Ooh, shiny. Well, this is their lineage. It's Texas single malt whiskey, pot distilled, uh, 47%. They're really leaning into that. Uh, Scottish influence by just putting the percentage instead of the proof. Oh, and, and I it's thought whiskey you, without an I thought that's what you were going to be picky about, and yeah. I'm like, oh, get over it. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, I think that's I think that's what they're what they're kind of going for, which is cool. It's never chill filtered. That's nice nope. to know. Yeah. So we're gonna start by trying some of this, and then Isn't we have these Ooh. cool bottles here of different things. These we'll things. tell you about here in a second, and we're gonna see if we can blend it the same or, isn't that the challenge or better to see if you can figure it out or if you can do a better job mm -hmm. that's what that's what they say i What's... do like a challenge that's why i picked you so <laughs> kind of a kind of a gimme sarah i don't know why you would say that uh we're gonna go ahead and get some of this in our glass so we can handle our first super, super chat. chat of the evening well we'll get it soon eventually coming soon yeah uh Maybe. and just so you guys remember um it is uh the um why am i completely blanking after this show it's only live till at 9 p.m you need to go directly over to it's whiskey mountain yes yes who i see in the chat good, um good, my good. brain blanked on all the thing all the things. Uh, there's an Alzheimer's fundraiser over there on that channel. Um, we did donate a prize or mm -hmm. a, a donation item. Oh, I'll, go, I'll have to go grab that. Yes. Uh, oh. So you should go over there, but there's going to be other guests and other things, uh, donations that are up for grabs. So yeah. you should go check it out. That's at 9 p.m. So we will Let's be promptly see. ending at 9 p.m. tonight so that we do not have, actually, maybe even a few minutes, maybe a minute or two before, just so you guys have time oh, to click over. Who even knows? Um, but we don't want we'll you to be ourselves. late. We don't want you to be late. Someone t keep the time and let us know because <laughs> hmm. we tend to go over. So tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and grab that because I also want to get a different glass so we can keep referring back to this one so we don't get it mixed up with these others. So you know what it means. I have different glasses right here. Like that aren't our glasses. Oh, I see. <laughs> I see. But you know what All that right. means. When I stand up, everyone drinks. That makes sense. All right. Well, I'll go ahead and pour yeah. some of this. And pour it in that. Both of them? No, just one. Just in one. Yeah. Okay. I guess we're sharing? I don't know. There's plenty here for both of us, but he has a plan, apparently. Ooh, malty. Spicy and... Hmm. I don't know. There's something... It's like a light fruit... Apricot. I'm not sure. I definitely get apricots. And this other ripe melon, uh, or underripe melon, maybe like a cantaloupe. Anybody else out there have this on hand? That was a lot of noises for no one that asked. <laughs> well, it is Father's Day. <laughs> yeah, you gotta make. If you don't make a noise when you sit down in a chair, did you even do it right? Get my new balances on. <clears throat> All right. Ooh. The uh, Whiskey Mountain 
Whiskey Mountains uh, stream after ours, this will be included in there. This is our four gate pick. Of We've already been, you know, enjoying it. Yeah, as you can see, <laughs> it's it's really tasty. You can see here on the neck tag, uh, it says it's bourbonite, private barrel cast, barrel date of two twenty one thirteen, barrel number seventeen. So this is an eight year, uh, ninety five five rye that has then been rested in a completely custom Kelvin Cooperage barrel, uh, toasted barrel, which really. You had a breath going in, up and down those stairs? Yeah, they have done that kind of quickly. <laughs> you did. <laughs> Why don't you give Nick a super chat? Cheers. I shall. I don't like it when it gets... It's too loud for the it's headphones. Too, it's too loud. It's too loud. It's too loud. But yeah, this will be this will be up for grabs over there. So Nick says, let's start Father's Day outright. Happy day. And Balcones is fantastic. And happy almost anniversary. Oh, seven years. Seven years. Awesome. For you. Yeah, not Okay, for us. I'm like... No. <laughs> <laughs> Did I miss something? Ooh, I get cola. Did you get any cola on this? Mm -mm. That's not, I mean, it doesn't mean it's not there. It's not what jumped out to me at first. Mm -hmm. Trev is here for a moment from the lake, which I don't blame him. I would also be in uh, enjoying the lake. Where's my mouse? Where's my cursor? There it is, there it is, there it is. Tony said, Sarah scares me when she gets like this. What's that mean? Boom. Wanted to put that up there on screen. Thank you. Thank you, Nick. Not that I, I'm not offended about scaring you. I fully believe that I scare people sometimes. I'm just curious, like, which thing did I do? <laughs> I'm oh, not sure. There's no telling. Did I get sassy? I did get a little sassy, I guess. Ray's about ready to crack open his four gate. So that's cool. All right. Yeah, I'm really excited about those four gates getting shipped out. <laughs> Trev, oh, Trev, so now mm. you're lurking from the lake. This sounds like an 80s horror movie. <laughs> That's how they start. <laughs> Captain Trev Wilson. Captain, Captain Trev Wilson. But he's only got one eye, and he just comes up from the lake at night. Ooh. I don't know. Scary. I feel like we could make a really good mm. YouTube... Oh, that would be so fun to shoot, like, a 15-minute, um, like, faux horror movie, like, mini movie mm -hmm. that was just, like... A web short. Right, playing off of though, like all the different whiskey tube channels could play different like characters, <laughs> and that would be fun if let's, we had. Oh, if we make, only had the budget, let's make that happen. Yeah, and then get us all in one place. Yeah, there's going to be money needed. Hmm. We have a director. I directed from time to time. I can produce, um, so there you go. Yeah, no, this is really unique. It uh, kind of goes to kind of like a coffee bean. <laughs> what? Tom R. said Trev knows what you drank last summer, and that is hilarious. <laughs> I know what you drank last summer. That's awesome. I love it. Um, oh. Yeah, I was saying it kind of goes to like a, a coffee bean in the finish. And you really let it sit in. It's not normally my vibe. <clears throat> what is it? It's like apricot and melons, but I think it's also like what I would call almost like a peaty flavor. Um, but it's not that. Uh, I guess maybe. Well, there's there's a there's it a is. different type of smokiness to it than what we tend to get in like bourbons, for example. Yeah. But this says uh, Balcones lineage Texas single malt is an expression that pays homage to both the traditional single malts <laughs> that have been a significant inspiration to our craft, as well as our deep roots in the heart of the Lone Star State. Taking cues from two distinctive approaches to maturation and malted barley, lineage expresses our appreciation of the past while forging ahead to add something substantial. Uh, <laughs> it's gonna be one of those nights, folks. To the ongoing conversation that is whiskey. Yeah, not chill filtered. Never chill filtered or colored. Sorry, I was just checking on the dog. Checking she on the like dog. Ran in here, kind of panicked, circled, laid down next to me, and then she just had one of her like little. She has like little tremors. Mm. It's her tenth birthday this this week, Zoe. Yeah. We bought her a new toy. Little Zoe. Poor little girl. But anyways, yeah, I was just checking on her because she did a little like. Mm -hmm. I mean, I sometimes do that too, where I'll be like. Mm. <laughs> but yeah, just making sure she's okay, and she's okay. 
She's okay. She's literally sleeping right by my feet, so she's happy. Hmm. No, I, f I feel like this would be more of a cold, uh, cold weather drink for me. Um, around a fire, this would be great. See, I was just thinking with the apricot and the melon notes that it might be a nice summer pour. See, I'm concentrating more on those darker notes and the finish. Do you already do this? 47%. Yeah. Yeah, we already did this math, huh? One, nope. Yep. Nope. 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 90... 50 is 100. <laughs> Two. 94. 94. Yeah. Math, not today. Yeah. 94. <clears throat> so. The silence of the drams. I love how they're still doing <laughs> telling the horse. Silence of the drams. That's amazing. Please write these down. <laughs> Someone capture them. I would love to do spoofs or maybe a t shirt at one point. Oh, a Halloween t shirt, the silence of the drams. Ooh, is I like it. Hilarious. Do you still hear them, Clarice? The drams, the drams waking you up in the middle of the night, the drams screaming. That's not the same scene. You can't just mix up scenes like that and I mean, do the slur. Do you what can't I just want. slurp brains in the middle of the scene. I had a dram with a nice fava beans. It was a Chianti. Well, this... okay. Anyways. Yeah. All right. So it's now our job to make this ourselves. The art of blending, which is truly an art. So from Balcones. Uh, they say, we invite you to mix these samples together to create your own Balcones experience. See if you can replicate the taste of lineage. Maybe you can blend it better than we did. You can also try to replicate our Texas One single malt made exclusively with Golden Promise. That is uh, what's two of the things we have here, primarily in New Oak. Hmm. Or you can create something entirely new. Have some fun and see what you can discover. So there you go. And they sent this uh, nice Glen Karen. Wait, what are the differences? And a pipette. Oh, they're just different barrel numbers. Yeah. Okay. So this is what we're working with. We're working with Golden Promise Malted Barley from Scotland. It was aged in New American Oak. Golden Promise Malted Barley, also from Scotland, and used Kentucky bourbon barrels. Then we have Texas Malted Barley. That's from Texas in new European oak, and then Texas malted barley in used European oak. So they're kind of taking one spot, uh, you know, across the pond and then doing uh, with X bourbon, and then they're doing across the pond, or sorry, over here in Texas with barrels. Draw me a map. There. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> so anyway, I put it down in the description if you guys. There we go. Easier than pointing with the pipette. Okay. All right. So what so, are we... What? Well, it says, to proof your blend to lineage is 47% ABV, measure out 10 milliliters of your blend with the included graduated pipette. Ooh, it went to college. <laughs> college boy, eh? <laughs> okay. So... I, I don't, I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> 10 milliliters of your blend. Well, we haven't blended it yet, so I guess we should get to blending before we proof it down. I guess so. Okay. Okay. Well, how do you, where do you want to well, start? I think we need to taste them, right? Yeah, we can taste them. I mean, we can't just be, I mean, how will I know what to do with it? I can't be all willy-nilly just pouring stuff. That's kind of how so I do So these things. are different, right? Yeah, these are all four different. These are all four different. Okie dokie. Well, I'm going to do uh, 18463. How will we remember? Good luck. We'll just have to keep these by the glasses. Yeah. So I'm pouring the uh, Golden Promise in New American Oak. This is Texas Malted Barley in New European Oak. I'm surprised that this is nice. the Scotland one is so dark. I would have thought this would have been the Scotland one. We have two light ones, two dark ones. <clears throat> Ooh. The smoke on that. Wow. Texas Malted Barley in, in New European Oak. Smoky. Ooh, it smells nutty. Though. I like the yeah. That's what I was gonna say about the nose. The oh. nose is got, <laughs> he gets way too excited about that. It's nutty. Did you drink? You took a big sip. This a little one. Whoa. That's what I said. Yeah. Let's put more parts of that. Mm. I like that. Are we trying to match this? Or are we just trying to make something good? We're trying to best them. At their own game. That's what they say. Yeah. Say, see if you can do it. Okay. 
Murder of the Canadian Whiskey Express. <laughs> Woo! And then again, this one is the Golden Promise Malted Barley, Scotland. This is clearly not my normal wheelhouse. <laughs> in New American Oak. Wow. That's got the melanie note. Who's melanie? Ba -doom -boom. I'm not impressed. You know, that's where I'm getting the cola. Okay, well, I'm calling lineage. it like a melon and an apricot, but okay. you're calling it a cola, like a syrupy. Uh-huh. Fair, fair. Fair, 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 through science. Well, we could either go grab some other Texas whiskey and keep it Texas night, or we could drink on our four gate or other Ooh. picks that we have. Isn't that a little bit of a tease? Yes. Do you still want to do it anyways? Yes. <laughs> yes. yes. Uh, why don't you guys tell us what you want to see? Yeah. I mean, I'm not going to be mad about having to drink more in the four gate. But... <laughs> We're taking votes now. Oh, we were actually at a local bottle shop the other day, and we found a bottle of um, the Fourgate Batch 6, which, if you guys will remember, it did very well in our best of 2020 last year. Mm -hmm. um, so we snagged a bottle. Cause well, we paid for it. That's what I mean. Yeah. We snagged it and we ran. I didn't mean it like that. Um, oh, well, I poured that one in the Balcones glass. Oh, well. It's okay. I don't know what you're doing. So. I'm just keeping these. Okay. Put that one behind this one. Yeah, but this is this. Oh, that's that. Yes. Okay. Well, here. Anyways. This this goes over here. That's our control. We snagged another one of them, and, and they are delicious. Here, please. And then that behind it. Yeah. There we go. See what we're working with? <sighs> kind of. <laughs> okay. Okay. So these two are in the, the front are the new ones. What okay. do you have? Uh, I have the Texas Malted Barley in European Oak, but this is 13516. Okay. Tom R. would love to hear me sing the old intro jingle. No. That, is, that wasn't one of the options. Uh, <laughs> I'm vetoed. No, I mean, I hear you, Tom. And I have the Golden Promise Scotland in use Kentucky. So this is good. This side is, is the uh, Scottish stuff. This is new um, American oak. Yep. New American oak used American oak. And then these are both the Texas malted. Yeah. Okay. New European, used European. So. No. No? Yes. Yes. <laughs> new, used. Texas, okay. but used this in smells new European. This really nice and almost, it's almost got like some bourbony notes to it. Like a little caramel-y. Like salted caramel. This is a little uh, musty. But not like in a bad basement cardboard way. These are just lighting up different parts of my tongue than what I'm used to. Uh-huh. Whoop, whoop, up, yep. <laughs> yeah, I feel like I'm like, malfunction, malfunction. Does not compute. You like, you put the wrong oil in here or something. <laughs> I'm like, mm. I run on premium. Oh. 93. Um, okay, transies. Good, good. I like this one. It's not as smoky as the others. I think it would make a nice base. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> hey, hello, Texas. There you are. Someone should just do how takes of ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> um, Ew. <laughs> it could be any. Why did you go there? <laughs> Jeez. It's a very large horn. Um, okay, let me know the next time you, you go run into a very large horn and do that. I will. Um. Nightmare on Dickel Street. <laughs> you guys are still <laughs> dragging me up. <laughs> oh. Those are going to be good. The, I'd like to just do... The, the Dickeline. We just watched The Conjuring, actually. Um, the second one and the third one. This one is a lot darker. Darker. Uh, it, it, it tastes... It has a better mouthfeel. It tastes more like consistency of, you know, molasses. It's very thick. I like it. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. So it's thick. I didn't think it was. I thought it was light. This one. Hmm. Lighter than these two. Well. 
I um, love how you think the two of us who rarely, like, not rarely, but Texas whiskey is not our forte, think, oh, we'll come to it better than them. I bet we can't even match it. Sarah, 95% uh, of it is confidence. I know, it blows gotta, my mind. You are just, just gotta... are you, were you just born with this confidence? No one beat it out of you in elementary and middle school? <laughs> High school? No? Because all mine was gone. Third grade, bye. Bye? No, the, uh, the camera, I draw energy from it. Weird. The dickling. Sounds like a different genre. <laughs> I agree, Todd. I agree. I was going to let it go when he said that. I was like, no. I don't want to participate in that. <laughs> um. Okay. So how do you want to approach this? Maybe we should go back to... Yeah, let's taste that again just to yeah. see. Of course, we're at the wrong proof of these, but... Oh, wow. That candy syrup... Okay. Sir syrupy nose. Which I think we agreed was this one. Or was it this one? Now, see, here's what you did. You moved That's everything, and I don't That's know. That's the cola, yeah. I don't know. I can already tell you we're going to need to put more of the actual lineage here and here. I feel like we're my palate's getting all messed up, though. That's blending for you. See, I think... Oh, you know actual... from all your experience? Uh, that's blending oh, for you. Oh, he sounds like he's been doing it for 20 years. Uh, that's blending for you. What have we done this? Two? Two, three, maybe three times? Well, and then also, like, infinity blending, but that's different. That's different. But, you know, th uh, this isn't, I, I would think, how the actual master blenders would do it. They would do it cut down, or they would be spitting. You sure. know, they're, they would be doing other things. Okay, so this, this is our lineage. We keep it over here. That's our control. And now, yeah, let's just have a master there in the middle. And, well, we can do it from... Let's keep these for tasting, and then we'll pour from. Okay. Pour from there. Well, I think we. Yeah. Agree this golden promise. But, so we know. But why? Science, Sarah. Science. Ugh, that's gonna take forever and no. be really boring. No. It's not gonna be fun to watch. No. So we can get put in there. I don't know. You do it. You're just gonna <laughs> over my shoulder the whole time. What, what I'm just doing? gonna be here. What are you drink. doing? What, what are you else doing? can I get in my glass? What are you doing? What should I get? Oh, that really is as much as you can get in there, isn't it? I mean, all the stuff is behind me, but I don't know. Okay. Here's two. What do you want to put in? Like four? I don't know. Whatever you want. Okay. <laughs> Not that I've lost interest, but you're going to drive anyway, so it doesn't matter <laughs> what I want. All right. We got four. I'm just trying to figure out what I actually want. Of our Golden Promise Ooh. malted barley and new American oak. Don't mind if I do. So we got that in there. So we like that base. We were recognizing that in the lineage. Um, and next, I don't know. Where, where do you think we should go? I mean, I felt like this one, but you said no. So. I didn't say no. I just said I thought this was the the darkest. This might I absolutely this one's... be what it needs. I don't know. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Again, this is the Texas malted barley and used European oak. And then this is going to be the Texas malted barley and new European. I think we should keep it used. I kind of like the used, and I liked the used here. Okay. So I'm thinking, yeah, we got that guy. Here, put your cap back on before you spill. All right. Okay. In case you can't tell with us mixing everything around. Oh. But that's nutty. That's the nutty one. Yeah, but that doesn't mean you still can't add some. That's true. All right. Goodness gracious. Mm. All right, let's go more with, well, well, we'll keep it even. So we did four of that other one. Okay. Let's add in four of this one. This? Just, just to start. This has changed. Oh, that's the bottom and bottom. Yeah. And I mean, I know this is what, how many years? 13? We were talking with a friend the other day that was saying like older stuff from Heaven Hill that's not high proof changes a lot 
and you don't really know how much time you have, but within, it could be a couple of days, it could be a week, a month. <laughs> Good God. I did not mean to do that. It's okay. We'll fix it later. <laughs> okay. We're just going to put that to the side for now. Right. Anyways, he was saying that older Heaven Hill stuff changes a lot at the at a lower proof once it's been opened. So he's like, you should really, if you're going to open an older Heaven Hill bottle, you should try to drink it. Um you know, don't sleep on it, right? Don't right. open it and just leave it on the shelf for forever. And mm -hmm. he was more talking about like an Elijah Craig 18 um, or a 23, but this is a 13 year, and this has been open for a little bit at mm, a little over half, 100 proof. I feel like it's changed a lot. So my advice would be to follow that because like, I don't think you'll regret it if you mm -hmm. do follow that advice. I'm not saying drink it in one day. I'm just saying be mindful, like maybe don't open it until you know you're gonna have people over who are gonna share it with you or whatever, because I think I think it really does have a, a time limit before it starts to change. It's not gone yeah. bad, it's right. just different than it was. Changed in a less than fair way. Right, I, I liked it right. better when it was first opened. Okay, so there are instructions for proofing this down to the proof that lineage is which is uh, 94, right? Is for 10 milliliters, uh, add two, let me see if I'm reading that. I'm remembering that right. Yeah, add two, two milliliters, milliliters for every 10 milliliters. So we have eight in here right now. So add so two. So I'm gonna add two of this guy, and which then was add the nutty. the water. Yeah. Boop, boop. There you go. Okay. So that's 10 milliliters, folks. Great. And we'll add two of our spring water, which is really just Brita filtered. Yeah. Yep, there's two. Great. All right. I love to watch when you put water in whiskey, how it does that whole like, I don't know. It's almost like a stained glass pattern or something. They recommend letting it sit for about 15. So I guess we could try something else. I'm already doing that. <laughs> Joseph has a super chat. Joseph, wait a second. Where is my thing? There it is. I don't know. Boom. Joseph. All right. That was soft, but here. that was too loud. Sorry. The new Lou picks uh, kind of came as a surprise. Are they weird or just good bourbons? They're just good bourbons. Maybe we're weird. Maybe we are weird. I mean, they're sourced. It's in Indiana bourbon. So mm -hmm. uh, I'll give you a guess as to where it's from. Mm -hmm. And and uh, we like what that particular distillery puts out most of the time. Mm -hmm. um, we rarely find something that... Especially when you have... We would turn our nose up to, so... You know, especially when you have uh, 20 barrels... We literally had pick at, of the litter. ...at your disposal, and you find the most cherry of barrels twice both uh, both bringing different things oh it's good stuff but yeah i mean we're obviously biased because we picked them and we really liked them um that's our opinion <laughs> we had a lot of fun picking the labels or making them yeah uh that was a good time and if you're wondering what we're talking about if you're a patron everyone will get their emails by tuesday um and if you're not a patron then Come consider becoming a patron if you TBD on if, if it'll can. make it outside of Patreon. Right. It's looking like they're moving pretty quick, so I don't know. Yeah. But I mean the price right, they're delicious, they're barrel proof. Ooh yeah. Yeah, I don't know that those are gonna make it too far, but we shall see. I mean as we're uh whoa Joey Tony. As we are waiting for this, I guess. Should you cover it, or doesn't it need... They say... Oh, cover it. Okay. Mm, they say, uh, preferably covered for 15 minutes. Okay. Um, I guess... Grab one, or the... Or the, uh, foregate. I have the foregate right here. Grab it, then. We can pour a little bit. <laughs> Let's do it. Bing. I mean, I'm... I mean, Wouldn't I can... Sure. I can no. I don't agree. I'll put that aside. Okay. And then we'll get you, Tony. Yeah. There you go. All right, so this is uh, one of our more recent barrel picks. This is the first ever batch of Fourgate single barrel picks. 
This is a 95 five eight year ride that is then finished in a custom uh, toasted Kelvin Cooperage barrel. I feel like you already said all this. 115.6 proof. Well, we got new people coming in all the time. That's true. All right, Tony, very gently. Um, he says, hello, it's Bourbonite. Back from Washington with as much whiskey in my, as my suitcase could hold. Woodenville, etc. Be on the lookout for a box of samples. Ooh, what a treat. You went on vacation and we get a present. Nice. Or not vacation. I'm not sure why you were there. Uh, bourbons, rye, wheat, and a surprise from the Isle of Widmay? I'd never heard of it. I'm excited. I think you just mistyped Wendy's. Isle of... What? Uh, why would that be Wendy's? I was joking. Oh. <laughs> I was like, what in the world? Because Wendy's would be very much us. And it's got the nice... Not anymore. We haven't had, I haven't had Wendy's yeah, in a true. long we time. Fourgate logo there. And selected by its bourbonite here on the back of the bottle. 115.6. 6. 115.6. 6. Mm, that's nice. Mm. I like the toasty note. I do oh. feel like I love how this opens up. Came in summer. I feel like it would be perfect for fall. Mm -hmm. I would put this on the fall list. The toasty is is so nice. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Sorry, our dog is like making <laughs> dis Dad noises. Sounds. She's very <laughs> very much letting us know that she's not happy that we're doing this right now. Are you okay? It's her birthday. She's like, you better pay attention to me. That's right. You have a birthday queen. And from Tony, Tony Curtis, saying your new Lou video was epic. Must be Oscar material. Oh, well, thanks, thank you, Tony. Tony. What's your name? Tony. What's your name? Zeke. What is your name? <laughs> uh, oh, the internet. What a strange place. That video that Tony's referring to um, went out in the email to our patrons for the new Lou links. But not again. I believe we've sent to emails to the five dollar levels all and of them. Uh, yes, it we're still rolling out. Still rolling out. Because we gotta give people time. It's a rollout. The reason that you're patrons is because you get access to the bottles as one of the things and then we gotta give you time to access the bottles before they go out to more people. And that's how it goes. That's right. Mm. It's like standing in line, but it's a virtual line. It's a virtual line. You're you don't actually have to do anything. Virtually queued up. I'll send you an email when, it, you're, when it's your turn in the queue. Yeah, there you go. Michelle, whoa, Michelle. what is happening? I like it. I'm not complaining. Um, wow. Oh my goodness, y'all. Well, this is for all three. I just love how delicate that is. Such not a... harmful to the ears. No, it's great. The older I get, the more the cowbell just irritate. Loud noises just <laughs> annoy me. She hates the 4th of July. I just want, I really do. Not that I hate the 4th of July. I hate fireworks. There you go. I don't hate fireworks. If I'm just not. She hates neighbors uh, shooting off fireworks. <gasps> and I don't really from hate it. now until probably the end of July. I will accept them on the weekend Some of 4th of July. Reason. Happy for you to do yeah, it. Absolutely. It, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, you do you. Have your cookouts, do your things. Boom. But anytime outside of that, those days... It, it, Unless it, I'm yeah. there and there's fireworks, because then it's like, well, I can see them, whatever. Yeah, you, that's I, just hearing. <laughs> it's just annoying. <laughs> and it's been ever since it started on Memorial Day, and it'll happen all the way through Labor Day, and it just every weekend. The other night it was Monday at 10, and someone was shooting off fireworks. And this is why I'm old. I'm sitting here ranting like an old lady about how the fireworks are going off on Mondays at 10. You should see my picture of Sarah yelling at Cloud. Oh, God. All okay, right, Michelle. Michelle says, don't hate me, but I love MGP bourbon and rye, so I'm really looking forward to getting these Nula picks. Cheers. Why yeah, would we hate no, you? No hate. No hate. Oh, I mean, it's no secret that stuff is MGP. We just, no. you know, I don't know. Sometimes it's fun to be more mysterious, but no, yeah. it, it is. So and no hate. Zofer 1920 saying, Wendy's on me. What? Thank you. <sighs> Thank you, Zofer. We were just talking the other day about how when we were on Kill Coast stream on Friday, Mm-hmm. That the that Wendy's, because uh, Rick and Morty comes back oh, tonight. Oh, Morty's. They did. They transformed it into Morty's instead of Wendy's. It was and, in L.A. And I really want it. I wish they did cool stuff like that around here. Yeah. Nick says, uh, "Live idea, revisit the on the fence bourbons post open. That's a good. Mm -hmm, we mm -hmm. try to, you know, weave those in, but maybe it should just be an episode." 
Yeah, yeah, for sure. We'll, we'll have to get the Stellum. Uh, that was our latest episode, if you guys mm -hmm. haven't checked it out. No spoilers, but um, yeah, the Stellum bourbon needs to be revisited after some opening up time. What's that dog doing? She's just making it known that she does not want us <laughs> to be down here. Yes, Michael, get off my lawn. <laughs> I don't know. I've never really 